Hi, this is Jeff from Webedia, and today I'm going to talk to you about a really fundamental but important editing technique in Pro Tools, and that is using the tab key, tab to transient function, as well as modifier keys with the tab key. So let's dive right in. First of all, your typical behavior when using the tab key is going to be jumping from clip boundary to clip boundary. As you can see, it's not going to individual transients in the waveform, it's actually jumping to clip boundary from the forward clip boundary to the rear clip boundary. If I engage this feature right here, it's a button up near the top. It's called tab to transient. Now, every time I hit the tab key, it actually is jumping from transient to transient. So this is a very useful way to kind of make a precise cut and just take out the exact transient that you're looking to, or just, you know, when you're going through a whole track, just to be able to maneuver from start to finish. Now, there are some great modifiers as well that enable you to do some cool stuff like this. Like, for instance, if you hit Shift Tab, as you can see, we're moving by transients, but we're also selecting by transients. Of course, if we turn off Tab to Transient, now Shift Tab enables us to select by clips. Very quick way to select all the clips in a particular track in your song. Now on the PC, using control is the equivalent of going backwards. So tab would be forward, control tab would go backwards by either clip boundaries or by transients, depending on whether you have tab transient on or off. On the Mac, that would be the option tab key. So you can do control shift tab, you can also add a modifier. For instance, on PC, if you do Control, Start, Shift, Tab, that will select all the way from where your cursor is to the beginning of that region with Tab to Transient on. So that's kind of cool. You can keep Tab to Transient on, but still have the functionality of jumping all the way to the end or to the beginning of a clip. So if you're going to go forward on the PC, it's Start, Shift, Tab. On the Mac, it's going to be Control, Shift, Tab. So that's to go forward. To go backwards, the modifier on PC is going to be Control. On the Mac, it's going to be Option. These modifiers are actually a very fundamental aspect of the editing features in Pro Tools, and anyone who is going to be doing some serious editing really needs to know them and learn them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Jeff from Obedia. Thanks for stopping by.